in need of some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And as of recently in the comment section, I've been getting tons of comments regarding trophies. Seems like a lot of people are confused on trophies, how to use them, how to get them, why they're important, what to use them on, which is surprising. Because I kind of assume more people would already have a grasp for trophies at this point, but I understand. So, I'm going to go over how to get them, where to get them, what to use them on, and specifically why they're important so far. Now, guys, I currently have 710 trophies, as you were able to see before that notification just popped up. Live content update. Not doing that because the servers are crap this morning, so I'm not risking going out again. But I have 710 trophies. Typically, that'd mean I'd be about to get a mm, Series 2 Master, but I don't know how I feel about this one just yet. I'll go all over all of that in a second, obviously. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button, boys. Let's get to 9K as quickly as possible. We're grinding out to 9. Then we got 10K after that. And 10K is just like a big milestone, you know? I didn't think a month or two ago when I was at 2K that I'd ever hit 10K. I didn't even think when I started this I'd ever hit 10K. So a lot has changed in the last few months, guys. Thank you so much for that. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. Comment down below what you guys will be using your trophies on. And make sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, boys. Let's get this video to 150 likes. Now let's get into this video. So, where do I get the bulk of my trophies from? House rules is one of them, as you guys can see. Wins for house for 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20. That's where I get a lot of my trophies from. Now, the other place where I think the majority of them come from is right over here in, is it serious progression? Yeah, it's right here. Serious progression, serious two multiplayer wins, just by getting wins. And while you play house rules, you're getting wins for house rules and getting trophies and you're also getting multiplayer wins and getting trophies so for one game it's 10 trophies for five games it's 30 10 games is 30 15 games is 30 30 is 30 30 is 60 40 60 50 60 and then 75 is 120 120 120 120 120 so i think all in all it comes out to about like 800 something trophies and then if you do the house rules too you easily cap out about over a thousand as you guys can see i'm getting close there and series two just started so for all you guys who didn't have a lot of trophies sitting there for when we transferred to series two you're probably in my boat i pretty much started from zero i think i started from about like 50 trophies so i pretty much represent a little bit of the grind of trophies you could have right about now now there's multiple things you could do with these trophies right it's tech it's a technically a currency like coins but in a different sense so most of the things you can do with trophy is in the store if you go to competitive currency hail mary packs midfield packs touchdown packs Red Zone Packs, Series 2 Competitive Master, Nat Series 2 Competitive Master, Coach Madden Collectible, Coach Madden, Wheel of Coins 85+. Plus. So the first thing I'm going to discuss is this Series 2 Competitive Master. Typically, the first thing people like to do with their trophies is acquire the Series 2 Competitive Master. But since it is Melvin Gordon, which I'm not the biggest fan of, plus the stats don't exactly all, like they don't throw me just yet. I don't know, I might hold off on getting Melvin Gordon, I might end up just going with a Coach Madden. Now, I'm going to head over to the auction box to show you guys Melvin Gordon's stats real quick so I can discuss with you what my thoughts are in regards to why or why not I will be getting him. Now, my personal opinion, I think John Madden's always the move because John Madden gives your team crazy amounts of boost that will be used for your entire team, which helps you increase your overall, your players. It makes all your players pretty much better. So I think that's definitely a good investment to always go Madden. I haven't decided yet. I really got to buckle down and look at this Melvin Gordon. So he's currently going for 2.2 million coins. So if you get the trophies in time, the smartest thing to do would probably to be take the auctionable one and sell it. I have seen these sell for quite a bit. Now if I compare him to Marcus Allen, he is faster by one. If I powered him up, he'd be faster by two speed. He'd have two better excel, two better agility. One better, oh uh, yeah, two better agility. He'd have five better carrying. The catching would still be bad for both of them. He'd have um, like five better elusiveness four less truck and way better break tackle so i mean at second glance if i powered this card up to a 94 overall halfback melvin gordon does not look half bad honestly might not be a bad pickup but for my in my personal opinion i just don't know if i if i want that melvin gordon i mean maybe i could use it as a backup running back at worst like maybe i could start it for now and then eventually become a backup which honestly wouldn't be the worst idea considering that it is a free 94 overall running back once you power him up so maybe i'll have to go i might i might actually take him okay i'm, I'm rethinking it right now I'd recommend getting Melvin Gordon right now. I obviously want Philip Lindsay, and I really want to increase my team as a whole. But at the moment, if, if they do come out with a new Saquon, I could just use Saquon as the running back one. 
and then Melvin has the two. I do use a two running back set anyway, so it really wouldn't affect me too much. So, I, and it's a high overall running back that you're going to probably use for quite a while. So I think it's, I think it's probably worthwhile to invest into it. I'll at least get the Nat one. I'll definitely work towards the Nat one because by the time I get the auctionable one, by that time, typically it doesn't go for nearly as much. And I think it's an awesome investment personally. So I'll probably be taking Melvin Gordon. At first, I wasn't so sure, but at second glance, card's kind of a beast. It is Melvin Gordon, current day player. I want him and Saquon running my backfield or Barry and Ladanian. I haven't really decided how I plan to go about all that yet, but I think he could dominate weekend league. Now, next thing is the John Madden coach. Now, to show you guys how this works, I'm going to go over to my John Madden coach, which I'm going to have to actually find. I never really know where he is. Program, program. I really don't know where to look throughout all this. Let's go to quality coach. Is it type coach? Coaches. All right, so we got John Madden right here. So this John Madden coach costs 10 trophies. What I recommend getting him, it should have been the first thing you bought. 10 trophies. Now, this year, to use the John Madden coach, you have to buy the collectibles. You don't just earn them. So you have to buy them with trophies, which is kind of similar because the uh, last year you used trophies to earn them. But you get the point. This year, you buy them with trophies off the store. And you, the John Madden is not usable without those collectibles. He's just a coach, a short white coach without those collectibles. Now, once you go to head to the store, and they're 1,000 each, they're definitely worth it. So I bought the first one. And it was John Madden passing. Passing comes with pass blocking power, pass blocking footwork, spec catch, medium route running, blocking, medium accuracy, deep accuracy, and break sack. So that's plus ones on all those to every player on your team. Doesn't matter where they sit, where they are in the, in the offense, the defense doesn't matter. So that increases everyone. So then that's one collectible. If you get a second collectible, you can either put tier two of this, which I probably will do, or you could start one of the rushing pass D or rush D. So if you're a team that likes to have good rush defense, you probably want to go rush D which will help out the majority of your team because those stats help out everyone. Pass, uh, pass D will probably only help out the linebackers and the secondary, not so much of the D-line. And then Pat Madden rushing will only literally help out the running back. And a, a few of... It'll help out the linemen a little bit, the running backs and the wide receivers and the quarterback, but it's not going to affect your defense at all. And then pass D literally doesn't affect anyone but the linemen and the wide receivers and the quarterback. Defense is not affected. So what are the best ones to probably do all in all for everyone? I mean... There really is no, like, as far as offensively, rushing kind of helps everyone, pass D kind of helps everyone, but again, like, rush D literally only helps, in my opinion, the defensive lineman with tier one. Tier two at least gives you the hit power, which helps everyone, but until you get to tier two, I don't think it's that useful for me. You know, that's, that's for a whole other video. I'm not going to go into depth on all these chemistries, but you guys get the point. In my opinion, I definitely get Melvin Gordon. I'm, people were trashing him, and looking back at him now, he's really not that bad. He's honestly pretty good. Good carrying, which is huge, and he's free. And I don't really have a running back to buy at the moment, so I think I might be useful, especially since I do run a two running back set. Could probably be really useful to have another stud running back. I guess it depends on his abilities. I have to go see. But after all of that, after you, have, I think first thing you do in a series is you get Melvin, you get the series master, and you get the collectibles. Once you have all that, now you could dwell into the packs. Me personally, I'm not a pack guy. Maybe Wheel of Coins guarantees you one to 50k. I've seen more 1ks than 50ks. You could go the 85 plus. I did just see someone on Twitter pull a Bo Jackson Redux out of here. Don't don't take my word for it. Do what you think is the right move. But again, I don't know what that is. That is for you guys to decide. And second, if it kind of comes to all these packs, honestly, the, it's up to see what you guys think are the odds on these. Like, what do you? How do you guys feel with these? For me, touchdowns and red zone packs suck. Midfield packs suck. Hail Mary packs suck. And for some reason, they look like a themed diamond pack. I still don't know why. So for me, I like to do this for the whole series. She'll ask me the whole series. Get the series master nat. Get as many collectibles as I can and call it a series. That's how I'll be running this, guys. Obviously, you can do what you'd like. I ha I should have. I wish I would have done solo battles for the double trophies because I kind of do want Melvin Gordon now after looking at him. I do need a new running back. But the time will come for that. Gotta go get my multiplayer wins to go get all of that. But, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, this is controversial. Many people will say don't get Melvin Gordon. Many people will say open the packs. Many people say don't open the packs. It all comes down to what you guys want. Me personally, my route of attack here, get Melvin Gordon, considering he's going to be the, mo the best running back on most teams. And again, if he's not, you can always put him as a backup. I run so much. I have so much passing that includes running backs that I really don't mind having him there, even if he's just a backup. And then my second plan of attack is always get John Madden, because once you get all those boosts on him, your team starts looking pretty overpowered. And if you get to the athleticism side where you can start putting speed on players, it's pretty crazy. And then obviously, if you have a bunch of trophies at the end of the series, you know what to do with them. 85 pluses might be a move. Just cash back some coins. This could be a good way to also just return profit on your trophy. Like you have 200, 300 trophies and you're like, I'm not going to get anything. Like I just want coins to, uh, to build my team. 
maybe take a touchdown pack take the quick sell out of it get your guaranteed play um your guaranteed coins but guys that is about it for the video thank you so much for watching if you are new to the channel make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button boys you won't regret it turn on that noti bell comment down below what you guys plan to do if you're going to be getting melvin gordon the collectibles or vice versa whatever you plan to be doing with this and also hit that like button boys get this video to 150 likes thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video peace